Hello YouTube, in this short video I just want to show off my uh, kitchen knife. This is my favorite kitchen knife that I have at the moment. This is the Santoku Takayuki in uh, VG10 and that's in layer Damascus. Uh, I've shown you this knife before but uh, I just want to show off the sharpness of this knife because I need my kitchen knives to be very sharp for comfortable cooking and for my girlfriend's comfortable cooking a uh, clean comfortable cut is uh, necessary and it is uh, also um, safer to work with so, uh, what I use as a measurement to uh, sorry I've, I've got a bit of a cold but what I use as a measurement uh, as a sharp for the sharpness for my kitchen knives is uh, if I hold the paper like this on this corner and I can slice the paper on this side of the paper it is sharp enough As you can see, it does that quite fine. One moment. Holding the paper like on this corner. No problem. Also a good test because regular paper cutting is not really uh, a good a good test if you um, do not have experience enough to um, know the sound of the paper cutting from a sharp knife in difference to uh, a dull barely paper cutting knife. A uh, sharp knife makes a clean cut like this. Well, uh, a dull knife, or well, a not as sharp knife, would make a hairy looking cut. But uh, also a nice measurement if you don't want to shave, because uh, for me, shaving is always a measurement, a good measurement. And not just shaving, but uh, what some people like to say, how pop and shop, one of the Ha uh, hairs uh, jump from your arm it looks like they jump they fly away but this is also a good measurement making a circle A dull knife cannot make uh, the turn. A dull knife will um, will hang in the paper in the turn. In this turn, a dull knife would break the paper or just stop. I can make these turns quite fine. I can feel there is a slight, slight. Um, yeah, not not an edge problem, but a slightly micro dollar part uh, around here. But it's not a problem. This is really crazy sharp. Maybe you can see the angle. This is the angle of the kitchen knife. Very small angle. And uh, you can only use a small angle like this on kitchen knives. This is not good for outdoor survival knives or bushcraft knives because the edge will be too weak but um, with a kitchen knife like this if you don't start hacking the, the wooden plank uh, you can make it as sharp as this 
for a uh, weaker steel, so this is VG10, laminated VG10, but for weaker cheap knives, I get some, uh, quite often get cheap knives for people that they like to, uh, like to uh, have sharpened, and um, I sharpen them and I give them a small micro convex because uh, otherwise they will just chip and roll like crazy. But this knife you can really give a very steep angle, or not steep, a very small angle. And um, the la last portion is a little bit convex as you can see. Just for uh, strength. Oh, I'm already bald on my arm. You do you hear that? It that's the noise. Popping hairs. A very clean shave. I don't even feel it shaving my arm. So uh Santoku knives are my favorite kitchen knives and this is my favorite Santoku at the moment not a very traditional handle but um, it's a really nice blade and uh, this is my all-round kitchen knife I can do everything with this and I really like that I don't need a hundred different kitchen knives I'm not a great cook so uh, <laughs> And I still don't have a, a knife, a wooden knife block, so I'll just keep it in the original, in the original uh, package. I want some kind of a magnetic knife block that I can put my knives on, but um, I'm not sure yet. I don't have that many kitchen knives yet, good kitchen knives, so I don't need it yet. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching this short video of the, my favorite kitchen knife. And um, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry for my uh, for my cold. I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, snottery. I don't know what it's called in English. Thank you for watching.